Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Michael Miller and I posted a few videos on YouTube about you know my indie healthy vending business um, and I want to also want to share with you today um, a few of the things that have come up in my business um, that I obviously want to share um, obviously free knowledge and something that cost me a lot of money and I want you to know about so first off one is being um, setting your business up correctly I was told in the beginning uh, to set it up as an LLC uh, with an S Corp for tax purposes, uh, which works out great for traditional machines apparently. Um, with in the healthy vending business, or maybe vending business in general, um, they offer 100% um, uh, return on your capital when you replace the machine up to five years. So 2025 is when it stops completely and it increments, I think, every about uh, 20, 25% every year that it keeps coming off um, that you're able to get that capital back. Um, so do yourself a favor. And like I've, I listen to the wrong people, um, set your business up as an LLC, sole proprietorship. Don't have anybody else on it, including your wife, like I did, uh, which cost me, you know, over $50,000 because I can't write that capital expense off anymore for those machines um, I just have to do depreciation which I'm out of a lot of money so um, I could have had my loan paid off by now um, so that's first off the second thing is um, I did get all my machines placed thank you Google for placing like uh, three three of my six machines that I have um, we're ranked number one on Google verified the business throwing out a lot of social media like this video um, really helps us rank on Google um, so that's the big thing. Uh, a lot of people I asked for the feedback where they find us and they said we come up as number one in the Indianapolis, Indiana area. Um, and they didn't find anybody else. So do yourself another favor and set your business up to where people are able to search you. Everything's congruent. You know, if your business name like mine is Indie Healthy Vending, have website Indie Healthy Vending. Have your email Indie Healthy Vending. Uh, don't do a Gmail, in, you know, don't do like a healthy vending at Gmail. Do contact us at, you know, healthyvending.com or whatever your name of your business is. Um, people see that, they recognize it as professional business. Um, and, you know, they don't feel like you're a mom and pop shop. They feel like you're dealing with a professional, uh, which they should be. Uh, and also get a dedicated business fund number. Use Better Voice, use Google Voice. Um, my instance, I use GoDaddy at the time. That now on my other real estate business, I use Better Voice, which sets up, uh, which is really nice, a monthly fee, but it's really nice to use that as um, you can direct the calls based on what they're what they're for. If either for service or um, sales or whatever, you can have them dial certain numbers to get that, and it's it's not that expensive, and it's 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 good for your business if you're at that point in your business. Um, there's something else, uh, so. The other thing that come up, obviously this video is gonna be uncut, um, but the other thing that um, people ask me a lot about, what, what type of revenue do you bring into your business? Um, so I'm getting ready to place my sixth machine, just place my fifth machine um, like a week and a half ago. So it just feels like it just happened and now it's happening again. Uh, and then I placed another one, my fourth machine before that, like two weeks prior. So I placed three machines because of Google and I have more locations coming um, based on Google, but I have no more machines. So I'm now gonna get more capital or just tell them to uh, hold off until we get more machines uh, and keep those locations in mind. But the thing that comes up a lot is how much do these, do these healthy vending machines generate uh, either gross or net? So um, I typically track net just because my product is, you know, I let my accountant, I have an accountant take care of all my books. Um, and my P profit and loss statements are P&L statements. Um, so we are profitable now with the five machines doing fairly well. Um, with a six machine, obviously I have storage. I don't have the storage fees anymore. I just have my accountant office fees and uh, my insurance. Do set up insurance because in today's age, people are looking to sue anybody. So if they choke on your treat, they want to sue, protect yourself. Um, you're an LLC, if you get set up as an LLC, do that, get insurance. It's gonna cost a little bit of money. I spend about $400 a year for a million dollars worth of coverage. 
but if somebody clips that machine, I'm covered. Um, so with the revenue side, not to get off track, but I'm typically, I'm averaging probably about, I would say net um, each machine, probably $100 plus a month per machine. Um, right now, sometimes it's a lot more, um, but that's a good number to look at. Uh, if you're doing that, it's, you have to track it by what percentage you want to see. Like people in like real estate are looking for a 12% cap rate. I'm looking to at least make, you know, 10, 20% of my money a year. And if you break that down by how much you spend on the machines, um, for me, I need to at least make over 85 to get, you know, at least 10% gain on, on my, what I spent on the business. Um, I'm not looking to get super rich. This is a scalable business. Some people believe that you're going to make $600 a month off a machine net, like not gross net, um, bring home. Like that's, it's not going to happen unless you're filling, basically standing by a machine on a daily basis and filling it up, um, which is not typical. Um, what I've seen, I've, I've heard people get lied to. I mean, yes, location is critical, um, but from what I've seen and having, you know, going to have six machines now, the, the ones that I have with five um, in different types of locations, they all have their ups and downs depending on their Monday through Friday or 24 seven. Like some of my gyms that I have them at, they all have their ups and downs. Some of them are based on, you know, when the kids are in school, when they're not in school. Um, so it, if you're looking at trying, just look at, make sure you're getting positive cash flow. Um, what, what that you need to at least see to be profitable, um, don't quit your job if you have a job. Six machines is not going to be making bank um, unless you like really get some really good locations. I know people that have 12 machines and they still treat it like a part time business, it's just good revenue on the side. Um, obviously, cut your expenditures, expenditures as much as possible. Don't do any, you know, look for the best price and stuff. Uh, I really keep track of my inventory so I don't throw away a lot of money um, with stuff that expires. It was a little difficult in the beginning with less machines being uh, not having as many machines placed but now my inventory is constantly moving i don't have to really worry about um, best buy dates as much so i'm not throwing money away um, so but um that's all i have uh for the healthy vending i hope that you got some insight uh like my channel uh, i just recently got into some real estate um, business uh, investment business so I started that uh, as well so you might see some videos on my channel as well um, but if you do gain some value out of this video please like comment um, I like to get some feedback from people uh, it really directs the way I take the videos I know I haven't shot the videos in a while um, the reason being I was kind of you know working the business so um, like I said hope you gain some value out of this video um, and then, yeah, have a good one. Thank you. Bye.